What's going on guys? Ryan Kennedy here again and we are here at day two of ICAST 2015. Um, really looking forward to it as day one was absolutely fantastic. Uh, really looking forward to kind of the same thing today. Talking to some more companies, working some more at the Liquid Mayhem booth. Here we are again this morning. Um, anyway, already got my badge this morning so no waiting around or anything but uh, I'm gonna get inside and turn the camera back on in there. All right. All right, ICAST 2015, day two is happening. Uh, lots of stuff going on. <laughs> Busier than yesterday already, and it is still in the morning hours. Um, I am really excited to get to you guys over the next couple weeks and let you know some of the new companies I'll be working with. Uh, lots of great folks here, and um, I'm definitely excited about some new partnerships that it's opened up. But um, I'm heading back to the Liquid Mayhem booth right now. Gonna go do some filming with Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Keith Boucher. So I'll turn the camera back on when I get over there and uh, check out what he has to say. Thanks, guys. How you doing, guys? I'm Keith Pochet and we're at the 2015 ICAST show. I'm in the Liquid Mayhem booth. Today I want to talk to you about the scent. Uh, Liquid Mayhem is an all-natural scent. It's made with real crawfish, real shad. Uh, it's not an imitation. It's uh, actually ground up and put into the bottom. Uh, the, the scent is going to attract more fish because it's, it's made from real real bait, so uh, it's going to outperform any other scent. I've been using it for a year now, and I tell you, it's, it's outperformed any other scent that I've used in the past, so very thankful to have this scent uh, out on the boat with me. It's been a huge success in, in my part of fishing this year, so I'm very thankful to be with Liquid Mayhem. Uh, give it a try. Uh, go to liquidmayhem.ca and you can find out all about it. All right, we're in the middle of the day on day two of ICAST. So we've come downstairs, uh, gonna grab a bite to eat for a little lunch break and then getting back at it. Things are happening, things are going good. Uh, really looking forward to getting back in there. So I'll turn the camera back on after lunch. All right. All right, ICAST day two, back from lunch. Um, just went downstairs to the food court, had a quick bite, kind of rest up a little bit. And uh, back to walking around, working with the Liquid Mayhem booth some more. And uh, visiting a few more companies. So, looking forward to the rest of the show, and tomorrow is a little bit shorter day. Uh, today and yesterday go until 6 o'clock, and tomorrow, which is the last day on Friday, will only go until 3. So, I'm um, really trying to make the most of the day, and um, I'll turn the camera back a little later. Alright, coming over here to the live Target booth. Uh, they have plenty of new products this year. They also have the best new soft lure which is a hollow-bodied sunfish. You can see that's what they're looking at over there. Uh, so we're gonna keep going around a little bit. They said this year is the new record attendance. It was 11,000 before this year, and this year they broke 12,000. That's a lot of people. So I'm gonna keep walking around a little bit. Might go back over to the cream booth. Uh, keep checking some things out, talk to a few more companies, and um, check back with y'all later. All right, midway through the day, um, it is 3.30 on day two of ICAST, and uh, some more exciting things are happening, guys. Uh, really excited for the announcements that I'll be able to make to you guys in the next couple weeks uh, as far as relationships with the companies and stuff. So uh, let's keep walking around a little bit, and I'll show you guys some more. was the rigid booth back there with Dave Mercer and Brett Height. Matt Airy back there at the Lunker Hunt booth. Yeah, I know, that's my problem too. That's what's going on. There's Jason Christie up there. Mike Sermon. Anyway, but well, we're gonna keep walking around and uh, I'll turn the camera on a little later. We're gonna keep rolling through this. It is that time. 
we are ready to announce the 2016 Walmart FLW Tour schedule at this time. And we're going to do it in dramatic fashion. You know, there's a lot that goes into uh, creating that schedule, host sites, um, the fisheries, you know, we a lot that goes into it. So much behind the scenes from contract ends, from tournament operation ends, what Bill do, deals with, and, and, uh, and Dave Washburn and Kathy Fennell. And we are so proud of our 2016 tour schedule. And we're gonna, the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna bring up six anglers, six anglers. One angler at a time who's going to announce the destination uh, at each stop. So I think the best way to kick this off is stop number one for the 2016 Walmart FLW Tour. I'm gonna bring him up again. $2.3 million with FLW, six wins, 33 top tens, and 14 times to the Force Wood Cup. It is the reigning angler of the year, Mr. Scott Martin. Come on up, Scott. All right, here we go. All right. Tour stop number one is going to be... Oh, that lake looks very familiar to me. Lake Okeechobee. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Right there in Clewiston, Florida. Awesome. Fe Roland Martin's Marina. Roland and Mary Ann Martin's Marina. February 4th through the 7th. That's going to be a big bass battle right there of all epic proportion for sure. All right. Stop number two. Next angler. We've already seen him. $1.9 million career earnings with FLW. Five wins, including a cup win. 21 top tens and 11 times to the Force Wood Cup. Once again, the Evan Roo Pro, Anthony Gagliardi. Come on up, Anthony. Thank you, thank you. Stop number two on the 2016 Walmart FLW Tour is Lake Hartwell, A Anderson, South Carolina, March 17th through March 20th. All right, stop number three. And to prove that these guys did not know our tour stops, let's quiz them a while ago, and they're talking about lakes. They were off. We'll just put it that way. Stop number three. To introduce stop number three, this guy's won right at $700,000. $700,000, three FLW Tour wins, 18 top tens, and a seven-time Forest Wood Cup qualifier. Let's hear it for the Quaker State Pro, Matt Airy. Thank you, Chris. And stop number three for the 2016 FLW Tour. Drum roll. Beaver Lake. Rogers, Arkansas, April 14th to the 17th. All right. Our next pro has won $1.9 million with FLW, a six-time FLW champion, 42 top tens, and nine times to the Forest Wood Cup. It's the Walmart pro, Mark Rose. Thank you, Chris. All right, stop number four on the 2016 tour. Pickwick Lake, May 5th through the 8th. Sweet. <laughs> All right, our next pro, um, I can guarantee you, he likes this lake very well. He's won over a quarter of a million dollars with FLW. He won an event this year in the Rayovac Series. He's been to the top 10 three times. He's a deep water specialist, loves structure fishing, ledge fishing. Let's hear it for Mr. Tom Reddington. Tom Reddington. Hey, Chris. Okay, tour stop number five. I'm not sure how you pronounce this one. Is it, uh, I'll take a stab at it. Uh, Ken, Kentucky Lake, is that right? Is that right? I'm going to right. June 9th through 12th, Gilbertsville, Kentucky. Oh, all right, the sixth event. Final stop on the 2016 Walmart FLW Tour to bring up this guy is always a pleasure. He's FLW's all-time leading money winner. He's won $3.4 million with FLW. Seven wins, 40 top tens, 16 times to the Force Wood Cup. And back in 2000, he won the Ranger M1 tournament, $750,000. He gave half of it to his church. That's, that's what kind of guy this is. And uh, I'm talking about, obviously, the Walmart Pro, Mr. David Dudley. So stop number six will be 
Lake Champlain, June 23rd through the 26th. So that concludes our six tournaments now. 2016 Forest Wood Cup. Now that's, everybody wants to know where that's going to be. 2016 Forest Wood Cup will be announced at Hot Springs at this year's Forest Wood Cup Lake Watchtaw, August the 20th through the 23rd. We will make the announcement for the 2016 Forest Wood Cup at this year's Forest Wood Cup, August 20th through the 23rd. All right, coming back from the FLW Tour event schedule announcement. Uh, had the press release right there for all six events that they're going to be having. They are not going to announce the Forceman Cup until this year's Forceman Cup at Lake Oshita. So uh, hopefully, I mean, just, just stay tuned for the Forceman Cup. And you guys will get that information. But um, I'm going to try to put the footage of the press release in this vlog. Uh, or maybe a separate video, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm gonna see how the, how the footage turned out. But uh, anyway, I'll turn the camera on a little later. Okay, ICAST 2015, day two is over. Uh, tomorrow is day three, obviously. And, uh, you know, hoping for a good finish to this. Today was another great day, a little better than yesterday, actually. Um, I'm loving it. So, uh, Maybe I'll do a quick rundown and everything when I get back to the hotel or something. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat and uh, turn the camera on a little bit later. All right. All right, that's it for day number two. Uh, I just got back from dinner and I'm back at the hotel now. Uh, it's kind of where I'm at right now. But I'm um, really looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow is day three, the final day. Uh, I'm, you know, to be honest, I'm gonna miss it a little bit. It's, it's been a really cool experience getting to, uh, you know be here for the first time but uh, tomorrow only lasts till three o'clock so not only is it the last day it's a shortened day um yeah i guess that's okay i mean my feet are tired my back's tired just from walking around all day but um anyway it's been an awesome experience and uh i'll definitely do some closing notes as far as tomorrow's video but um i'm gonna get to work editing this video up on my laptop and uh you know, try to make as much progress on it as i can tonight um, not sure if it'll be done. I'm pretty tired, but uh, I'll definitely try to. But um, I'm gonna close this out. So vlog number three is done. Um, again, just let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I, I'm actually really enjoying doing these, uh, so I'll probably keep doing them. But um, yeah, just let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a great day.